to the city of Khemun in Egypt and it will very soon be seen that this is in fact Egypt yes mules with hieroglyphs all over the place yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. Let's get down and pull out this block. And another time. Why did that pull that block another time? Well, there is some treasure here. Unfortunately, that doesn't count as a secret passage. But who gives a damn? Treasure is treasure. <coughs> the only way is up. Da -da. need to be careful when I pull myself up as there is a black panther there. Hello Bagheera. Um, let's first go up here. For a small matter back. Uh, oh yeah. Some clips for my magnums. Now to go up here. Yes, you see that mummy over there. Actually, it's not a mummy, it's an Atlantean mutant disguised as a mummy. Only can't switch me up here. And there is something nasty to them when they die. you can see then they will explode and yes when you are standing too close to them those explosions will hurt you and when you're low in your health they will kill you let's climb that sphinx This is the way to do it. And let's go up. Oh, 
Let's first take up the shotgun shells. And the key. Well, you guys already saw that this is a movable block. So let's pull it out and go inside that Sphinx. Now there is another black panther down there. So I need to be careful. Not to fall down. Now it cannot hurt me from here and when I do not mess up when I'm up there, but that's near the end of the level, those things should not be an issue, but when it comes in my shooting range. That was not the best I've ever done, but it's dead. That trap to be sprung. Just to save myself a few issues later. There is a crocodile in this pool, but it cannot show itself yet. I have to go to him. And once I reach them, I can't kill it. I want I can kill it, I no longer need to. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh well. Oh come on. Don't act up on me. Pull that fucking switch. Yeah, and down here is the crocodile. Don't swim in that board. But as I don't need to be in that water anymore, I can leave it be. Lucky crocodile. Not gonna make it eat some lead. That's fine. Let's climb it. And now I can reach that platform to the left. Ooh. 
and yes, I need that switch. What a noise. And you may wonder what just happened. Well, let me show you. You see those blocks over there. They simply came out. But I cannot reach them yet. I need to do a few things first here. And again. Right, and now to the other side. assuming the push stands however when a block is on the edge you can't push it off the game is protected against that and let's push this block I have been on this spot before, only then on the lower side. Some kind of tricks you will see more often from this point on in the game. Okay, that's fine. No, no pushing. Climbing. settled it. Now I always use this as a shortcut but it also counts as a secret message. However dropping down will hurt. It does however give me two Uzi clips which are still useless at this point in the game, but I already said it before in the third level of the Egyptian section you can get the Uzis statue of the goddess Bastard, shaped like a cat. As you know, cats were holy creatures in the ancient Egyptian religion. Killing a cat in the time, even if it was by accident, held the penalty of death. So should shine some light down there. And two nice black panthers. Oh, 
Kitty. It's time to die. Now, two more kitties will be released as soon as I go down, and I won't be able to pull myself up. Settles that. <coughs> and two more kitties can be released, but now I am literally on the high ground. Actually, this was a waste of ammo, but who cares? Another meta pack. And now I gotta deal with another Atlantean mutant disguised as a mummy. Atlantean mutants here in Egypt may seem a bit of a mystery to you, but that will become clear. Just a bit of a fuck spot. Uh, let's see. Yes, empty room. <laughs> and now let's climb this block. As I need the key. And now let's climb this sand hill. And now you'll see another place where I've been before. And you can see that Black Panther is still there. was some senseless killing but then again I have messed up this spot pretty much and I actually don't want to face that cat anymore First save game here. Must have been really confident. And 
on the other hand, if you played this game as much as I have, you should be. Yes, the hill is gone. And I don't want to fall from too much of a height. Let's see. Set on me. And that concludes the city of Camoon. Only to go to the obelisk of Camoon. This level is even more than any other level in Tomb Raider, meant to be a kind of extension to the previous one, which can already be seen, but how the room beyond the fence looks exactly like the location I was in the previous level. And when I reach the end, it will even become more clear. But before I get that far, still a lot to do. By the way, I'm boiling some water for a cup of soup. So I may have to go away from my computer when the water is ready. The only movable block that I need here is this one. I will need to be in that pool later. Let's first put this block into the position that I want it to be. And I will need it soon. I know, I can use one of the closer blocks to that spot, but all the, what that would get me is a needless fight with a Black Panther. And one more push. I outran it.
That was my best attempt to kill that motherfucker ever. Okay. Boom. One bridge down, three more to go. The object of this level is quite simple. Around this pillar are four holy symbols. And I need to collect them all. Well, you will now have to excuse me for a short time. Since I heard that my water boiler is ready. So, I'll be back in a minute or so. recorder it should be around that well let's see yeah that up there is a secret passage but that comes later and the other holy symbols are currently out of my reach so let's get out of here The number of Atlantean mutants will definitely increase. As a matter of fact, from the next level onward, there won't even be any other kind of creatures except for those enemies. later well, let's have a little swim to make sure everything down here is taken so I don't have to do it later gotcha Let's go down! Yeah, grr, grr, grr. Those black panthers can't reach me anyway. get the more serious work I need to get up there yes at the very top of this hole you can see it it's easier than it looks Although, I must admit, it took me quite some practice to do. Well, a good point to save the game. experienced in this game you shouldn't die here 
but one mistake means death. And this little piece of furniture here is definitely in the way. However, I made it. Yes, that corridor over there is my destination. There is an Atlantean mutant there, so it is very important that I'm careful. First, a few more jumps. That's one. That's two. Well, that platform will get me up. Well, he didn't even do some serious effort in things. Before I hit the corridor, let's first go down here. Claim a few treasures. Well, now there is a secret passage between those pillars, but it will also take me all the way down. And since I have to go the same way down anyway, later I can better wait till that moment comes. Yeah, sinkhole. Let's hit it. Too quiet. Now with a black panther down here. And now with dead panther. Okay. And now the slide I took has become a kind of a uh, uh, stairway. <coughs> Extra shotgun shells. I will definitely need those. Well, I don't need to go all the way up. I just needed to get onto this platform. Now, let's flip this switch that will 
change something in the previous room, but it is too early to return there. Because first I can solve a little puzzle here, allowing me to... <coughs> Get one of the holy symbols. Now, going down here will not take me any treasure or anything, but I do this in a matter of thinking ahead. Yes, two Atlanteans. on my way out I have to cross that ground floor and then I don't want those motherfuckers on my tail. Yes, before I go on, another sip of my soup. Focus a little, and let's go. to find, to count as a secret passage. <laughs> as a matter of fact, when I played this game the first time, I was very amazed to hear that secret passage jingle here. But I thought it was a mandatory part of this level. But it is really a secret passage. However, from here I can reach a few things more easily. Let's first claim the prize over there. As you can see, the level design is becoming more and more complicated. You must more and more be able to puzzle a few things out in order to find your way here. Now it isn't just always a matter of logic, it's quite often also a matter of using your eyes properly. Which is not always easy with the poor three-dimensional rendering. But overall you should be doing just fine. Now I, let's see... Okay, not sure if I need a little run in this point. I know the game well. But I do not know it 
that well. Yes. That's it. And then there's a switch here. Kaboom. Nothing else here as far as I remember. And I remember that correctly. Now the easiest way out is going down. And this is why I went down first to get rid of those Atlantean mutants. As at first it was easier to get out of their reach. Those are little tricks that you can only find out by playing the game, sometimes. And use your experience on things at your own advantage. Just well. And like I said, something changed in this room, allowing me to move on here. All the way up this time. sip of my soup, saving the game. I must really make sure that I won't release the action button too soon. it. I can just <coughs> jump off on this. <coughs> yes, another of those. But this is the last time. to the last holy symbol is open. I 
know what you're thinking, but I'm not crazy enough to go down that way. And frankly, I don't have to. Well... Let's first take a look at the two secret passages, shall we? And then the second secret passage, which can only be reached from this point. And that brings me also pretty close to the last holy symbol. Oh damn, I really have to do this. <laughs> well, that takes care of that. about my oxygen and not to worry about that Atlantean either it can't hurt me as long as I'm in the water but let's first grab some treasure come on Laura don't act up on me good girl and there's something else over there. Now, I'm not really game to fight that Atlantean. And if I'm in luck, I don't need to. The point is that it is a bit in my way at this point. away. Dang. Well, I did lure it away. Goodbye. Hey, doesn't that look beside me familiar? Yes, that is where I was in the previous level. Grr, grr, grr. Four bell. That is... Not really sure why this happened. No, I never missed that jump. Wasted some meta packs. Normally I just jump. Pirate or something. Uh, 
well and this is basically the room of the big swings in the city of Kamun level yeah I can still move that block but I frankly don't need to this was a pillar I couldn't use in the previous level but now I can that I have these holy symbols And the Ankh. And one more holy symbol. And another splash. can put in the eye of Horus and that is the door to the exit or the entrance as I will now go to the sanctuary of the Scion or the Scion or, or however you pronounce it so I'll be back soon, you won't notice as this video will just go on, but I will pause for a while. Well, and this is the third and already the final level of Egypt. Now what is nice to note is that you won't find any creatures here anymore aside from boss enemies or Atlantean mutants. <sighs> so let's go for Kaboom. This level has also only one secret area, and that area contains the Uzis, considered by some as the best weapon of the game. Well, if you ask me, that depends a bit on who your opponent is. <laughs> anyway, those Uzis come <laughs> later. I'm now on the back of a gigantic sphinx, which is hard to see right now, but I'm looking for an Atlantean mutant that is somewhere down here. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Come out wherever you are.
And yes, now they can sometimes shoot back. Which sucks. <coughs> well, that is not really a big concern right now. Yes, they want me to see that I am below a giant sphinx right now. Well, you will see a lot of it the upcoming time. But, let's have a full view of it. Gotta say, they put a lot of work in that thing. Anyway, let's get down to business. This level is more about climbing and puzzling out your way than about fighting. More than the other levels. To be frank, I don't mind that. such you need to be pretty careful about things now it is not very good to see but on the sphinx's hat are two locks both requiring an ankh and when i find them both i can door below the sphinx to get to the next portion of the level to watch out it is hard to see but here is a way down now before I flip that switch <coughs> that will open the door to the first of the two anks but it will also release an Atlantean mutant one that can fly not really happy about that. There it is. That really hurt, fucker. And now for the way down. As there is nothing I can do up here. At least not in this part of this cave. <coughs> well, the first door to an anchor is open. But I need much of climbing work to actually get there. To which this is the first climb. And on my way I will also encounter the switch. To the second ankh. So I can just open that as I go. Oh, that was not really my intention. Okay, let's see, yes. Yes, the road does not look exactly logical. You really have to find out 
where the lower bricks are so you can climb your way up. And as you can see, the tiniest mistake is all the way down. In the beginning, it just means that you have to start over. But at the point that I have come now, it means that one tiny mistake is legal. So perhaps this is a good time to save the game. Well, if you look well, you can already see the switch in the distance. Now you can see it even better. Those huge color changes in the darker areas are the result of the fact that back then it was only 256 colors that could be rendered on screen at a time. <coughs> you could still mix colors like you can do with the modern graphics uh, programs. However, only 256 colors could be displayed at the same time. And that is why game creators were a bit required to improvise. Anyway, I've reached the switch while I was explaining that. And here too, a winged <coughs> motherfucker will come at me when I flip the switch. So let's... That was the last one for now. Although I will get a few more once I get the Uzis. When I mean for now, that means during this climbing stuff. You may see the Uzis lying there in the air. They are lying on an invisible platform. That invisible platform is the only secret passage of this entire level. Very good. Let's save the game now because we the rotten camera does make that this jump can easily go wrong. As it is not very easy to pinpoint your exact direction, your direct angle. Okay, I think I'm now at the correct angle. Safe. Here goes. The jingle will only sound once I get up the Uzis and then two winged motherfuckers will come at me. So I can immediately put my Uzis to the test. Ok, 
Okay, of course, now I need to make my way back. Uh, if I mess the jump up, it is not an immediate disaster. Because I need to be down anyway. But if I succeeded, I wouldn't have needed a medic pack now. Climbing work is done now. Only a few more. That makes it even easier. Uh, uh, what the fuck am I doing? Well, that's easy. Otherwise, I will, this side will be able to get up there. And uh, send. Okay. Something went wrong with the recording. But we're back. Anyway, a centaur mutant is waiting for me here. Pretty strong. Nasty attacks also. Also, this time I got a lot of space to move away. So I could avoid any fireballs, but it didn't have the chance to throw any. And like any other kind of Atlantean, it dies and explodes. And here I got the first of the two anks. Now this part was actually quite easy. Getting here was the trouble. For the second uh, ank, getting to the door, giving access to it, is the easy part, but then the road to the ank is where it becomes harder. While the way down is pretty short, I can just go toward the back of the swings. You can also see where I couldn't get there, the more direct course. Another backpack! Woohoo! And let's see... Yeah, I could already offer up the first egg I have, but what's the point in doing so? I can better get up there... Once I have them both. Yes, all the way around the things. Ah, make them 
clips. This is tricky. Yes, that's the only way to reach the platform. Pretty dirty, huh? Really, I hated the game creators for pulling this trick. Um, you will see later why. Really, when you're gonna do this yourself, you will hate it. It took me hours to do this right the first time I played the game. And it is only to thorough practice that I can do this in once. Only to discover that you cannot continue without the key which happened to be on the bottom of the pool. When the door opens, the sand tower guarding the ank. when it comes to fighting Atlanteans has yet to come but for now I am actually pretty safe and yes I got both angst now yes well time to head back to the giant sphinx back to the Sphinx. Don't think that it's all over yet, as this was merely the first part of this level. Of course you realize that by saying that I am implying there is a second part. Yes, there is, although that part is shorter than the first part, it still takes some work out. However, let's first climb the Sphinx, which is not half as difficult as climbing the cave wall was, but it's still
still some climbing work. Right. Very good. And made it. Well, the first one goes here. Yeah, that's only one, so nothing happens. And for the other, I need to be up on the front. Actually, that looks more dangerous than it is. As you cannot easily get past that face. Righto, the door is open. And now to go back down. Two enormous statues completely submerged. I said this second part is much shorter it's also a lot easier but that doesn't mean you can't mess it up what the fuck are you doing Lara why aren't you grabbing of that pillar. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure that much is going to work. Ooh. Let's try it one more time. What the fuck is that? Ooh. There's no other way to do this. And I really thought there wasn't. I never missed that one up. Come on. See? You can do it, Laura. Just put your mind to it. a wind on down there and here are the two statues only the water level has dropped down
Well, that was all of the climbing work and such. And also the puzzling work. However, now the worst part of this particular level is to come and maybe even of the entire game. Three Atlantean mutants. Two regular ones and one centaur. And frankly, it's next to impossible to avoid their attacks. I really wonder which idiot came up with that ID. And after that, the boss will come. But believe it or not, the boss can just easily be skipped. Okay, let's pick up that scarab and save the game as now my worst fight so far. see what I was doing. So that was... Ah, the centaur is out. This is... Boss, a complete joke. You can just easily run past him and ignore him. I still got a pain in my brain from you. And it's telling me funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. Good for you, Larson. I'm not interested. Goodbye. Well, that takes care of the Egypt section. We have a nice...
I'm going back inside. You coming? This is where I will end my video, as Lara will swim to the next level. However, I will just move her far enough now in order that she won't drown. And the rest is for next week. See you.